Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use CSS to create quick opacity change rollovers. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver and we're just going to be creating a new HTML document. So the rollovers that we're going to be creating today are going to be done by first uh, inserting an image into our Dreamweaver document and then we're going to target that image using CSS and we're going to be changing the opacity of it. So um, to get started we're just going to take and um, go into our body tag hit enter a couple times to give you some space and then we're just going to take and insert an image and so image tags are a little bit different than other tags in um, HTML so you just type um, an open bracket IMG space slash close bracket so it doesn't have an open tag and a closing tag like say the body would um, you just kinda have one whole tag and so after the G in image you're just going to hit space and then type SRC enter and then enter again and then we're going to take and choose an image so I'm just going to save it real quick and we can just call it a test and so now I'm just going to take and choose my image the image that I was using was from uh, it was linked into a different thing so it would have um, given us more menus and things so I just wanted to save it first so what I'm looking for is a image called donate button and we'll just click OK. And so now it's taken this image that I have on my desktop and it's linked that into um, our HTML. So if I save it and test this out in Firefox, we should see the image right there. Okay, so we'll go back into Dreamweaver. And you can always take, and if your image is scaling for whatever reason, you can take and give it a width. And it should automatically try and fill in the width that it already is. So just paste it in and you should be good to go. So now what we need to do is actually make a CSS page to control this HTML file. So we're just going to go to File, New, then down to CSS, Create, and we're just going to save that real quick. We'll call that Test as well. Alright, so now we need to link this CSS page to the HTML page. And so in order to do that, um, one quick way is to go up to Window and then down to CSS Styles. Um, in a previous tutorial I showed you how you can just copy um, the line that you need off of another website. Um, this is another way you can just take and after you've made your CSS page, open up the CSS Styles, as I was saying, and then come down to the very bottom of it and click on this little link where it says Attach Style Sheet. Select the Style Sheet, so we're just going to find Test dot CSS okay okay and it'll take and add in the line that you need right there so that's fairly quick alright so now that we've done that um, we can basically start working on our image so we can either target all images in our document by just taking and in our CSS typing IMG open curly bracket enter a couple times and then closing curly bracket and then whatever we wanted to do to the images would go in this middle area but um, normally you're probably not wanting to do that to all images you're going to want to have a rollover on a specific image just the ones that are buttons not the ones that are like for content so the way that we can do that is by actually specifying um, within our image that it's different and the way that we can do that is just by giving it a class or an ID and so we're just going to give it an ID for the purposes of this tutorial but classes work in the same way so we're just going to hit space in there um, right after the G and we're just going to type ID equals and then two quotes and inside of here we can just come up with a name we can just call it like rollover and then BTN now whatever name you give it doesn't matter just remember um, what it is so that you can use it within your CSS so we're just going to take and copy that go over to our CSS and I'm just going to save this real quick now go over to the CSS and what we're going to do is um, write out that rule for that specific image so what we're going to do is hit the pound key so shift 3 um, it's also the number sign and then just paste in what you copied from over in your HTML file so uh, we have hashtag rollover button Okay, so then we're going to, at the end of that, have an open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, closing curly bracket, and now inside of there we're actually going to change the opacity for our rollover. So the way that we can do this is with two lines of code, so we're just going to say opacity, alright, and then a colon, and then we can just say like 0 0.4, and I'll explain what that means in a minute, and then hit a semicolon, and then for most cases this will work but if you're using Internet Explorer and it's like newer than uh, Internet Explorer 8 then you'll need this extra line as well so it's always good to just put them both because you don't really want to mess around with uh, having some users see it and some not so um, we're typing filter and then uh, colon and alpha 
and then an open parenthesis and then opacity equals and then you're just going to type uh, 40 right here closing parenthesis and then a semicolon alright so the way that this works is it's basically um, reducing our image to 40 percent opacity so it's going to be significantly reduced um, the closer to um, 0.1 or the closer to 10 on this one that you get um, the more you're not going to be able to see your image so again you're going to want to change these where it says 4 right here that means 40 um, so if you change this to a 3 this would be 30 so just keep that in mind so we're just going to save it and it's not going to be exactly what we want but I'm going to show you how we can fix that. As you can see that it has taken our image and it has reduced the opacity. Here was the before and here's the after. Now the reason that it did this was because we didn't actually tell it to do it on rollover. We just kind of assigned it to do it um, all the time. So in order to actually uh, specify a rollover within CSS you need to use something called hover and you can do that by going up to your original name where you have hashtag rollover btn and right after the end there you're just going to have a colon and then type hover and so hover is basically when your mouse is hovering over it or in um, real terms it's actually rolling over it so I don't know why they call it hover I guess it's just easy to um, it's a short word so um, we're going to go back into we can just test this and so now when we take and roll our mouse over our button you can see that we have a very nice uh, rollover effect so again you can take and change that within your CSS depending on how much uh, opacity change you want um, I really like this method for um, creating rollovers it's simple um, I'm a big fan of the actual like opacity change rollovers and before I actually knew that you could do this with CSS I'd always make two images I'd make one like this and I make one like this and kind of um, try and flip between them with like JavaScript or using um, harder CSS so this is um, a really easy way to create um, simple uh, rollover buttons and is pretty quick. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.